So now I want to look at the median and, and the outliers and I these results are a little bit more jumping than the ones on the previous table from these students including my own result. <coughs> so I kind of plotted them and I believe we can see that these results here they're kind of there's a spread there but that's my my random error that I took in the measurement but notice there definitely three results quite a bit lower and there's one result appreciably higher and those I want to consider my outliers and kick them out and then use the remaining ones and you can see that you don't necessarily have to plot them but I look at these numbers I should be around 982 and I come out pretty close 979, 984, 975 and so on and this one is definitely too small this one here is definitely too large and then these two here are also definitely too small so I kick out those four results and deal with the remaining ones. Here again I'm gonna do the median so I'm gonna I think I have seven remaining so I'm gonna kick out the three lowest ones which are 975 and a couple of 979 there we go kick out the three largest ones of course the 997 my own here definitely 990 and then a 986 and the remaining one is a 984 centimeters per second squared relatively a very small error of only 0.2 percent okay I'm gonna look at a third and last data set from some students again keeping anonymous and when you look at these data you can see two mistakes right away they're pretending that they were as accurate at six significant figures that's not possible you're measuring the length to the closest centimeter perhaps which is three significant significant figures tops you're measuring two yeah, the closest second or maybe the, the closest tenth of a second if you use a stopwatch that's two or three significant figures so the results have to reflect that so this one here should be a 979 or a 980 let's let's use 980 let's say that w that we would be measuring only to the closest two significant figures for example for the time just using a clock on the wall so this one would be a 990 that's the first mistake that should be eradicated that actually would be just a 1000 that one here 1100 remember two significant figures by the way on the 1000 these the second zero the first zero here is a, a significant the other two are not but just looking at the numbers we don't know that we just know it from the context that we have two significant figures again 1100 1100 1000 okay so we got rid of one of the results at this point I don't even need to calculate a median value because I figured that I must have done something wrong if these are my results then 9 out of 11 results are quite a bit above what I should measure the 982 so I conclude actually that I have a large significant um, large systematic error and that should lead me to repeat all measurements I did something obviously wrong I cannot justify it with having a certain error range but I have to do my measurements again it's a the systematic error is too large okay for the conclusion I'm actually going to use the second data table because it includes my own result and since I took that measurement myself I can go in there and comment on it in the conclusion so here I'm gonna use these data and I'm gonna say the following my result of 
984 centimeters per second squared is really close to the accepted value of I guess I have to move over a little bit here of G equals 982 centimeters per second squared for Alaska in fact within 0.2 percent you can do that calculation on the side and you would do you would see that's indeed that close okay now I have to look at what kind of errors I have and those errors again I'm not gonna write human error down or friction I have to be more detailed specific well what kind of systematic errors could I have I could have measured the length wrong for example I had to actually measure one meter first and then make a mark and then measure the remaining 98 centimeters but I could have made the mark just slightly wrong so measuring the total length the total length of what I just said or just measuring the length the pendulum length as I said you may have to edit your own conclusion that's what I do here edit my conclusion measuring the pendulum length such as putting measuring tape end to end so to say end to end or making a mark could be also that I measured to the bottom bottom or top of the pendulum weight either one would be wrong it could be that oh yeah now I would say measuring pendulum length um, measuring time so for example I could start too late keep the wrong count which is actually what happened to me but I was able to fix it yeah things like that and again these are things to avoid avoid systematic errors okay random errors well that is as I'm measuring the length I may be plus minus 0.5 centimeters off and that is hard to tell I, I kind of know that ooh, you know I might have measured a little bit over or a little bit less because I have to repeat it for 11 different lengths so might be a little bit off there so random are the length of the pendulum and that plus minus a small error of maybe half a centimeter is hard to avoid by the way because of of that that maybe I have half a centimeter maybe I am half a centimeter off for the small lengths that's actually where I would expect the largest error well for the larger lengths half a centimeter over two and a half meters doesn't matter that much as it does or half a centimeter for just 25 centimeters so length of pendulum random error well hitting the stopwatch sometimes too late hitting a stopwatch or reading off the clock hitting a stopwatch sometimes too late sometimes too early that gives me a small random error so I should say length of pendulum within half a centimeter hitting a stopwatch within maybe half a second and those random errors I can't get rid of I cannot 